Jazz and AJ News. All right, it's time to crack down on these slow poke left lane drivers. Get out of the way! Now, we're pushing this forward. Yep. We uh, spoke to Vince Candelara, who's the minority house uh, person. And uh, he said, hey, you know, talk to Kathy Kennedy. Right. She's on the transportation she's cool. committee. And uh, so she's on the phone now. Good morning. Good morning. How are you this morning? Good. What did you think of, uh, did you hear about our idea? <laughs> I did. I listened to uh, Vinny on, on with you guys last week. Cool. What do so. you think? Um, well, you know, there actually are some uh, some rules to that left lane uh, driving. And, and I will tell you, I watched because I knew I was in preparation of coming on today. Oh, my God, it's crazy. Driving home last night from Hartford at about 530 when it's the busiest time. Just some people just come to a complete stop in the left lane. Yeah. <laughs> How do you stop on That's the amazing, yeah. left lane? It's, it's insane. But, uh, but um, so I was able to garner some statistics for you, if you really care about statistics, but, um, and they do date back to 2018, but they do process a lot of tickets for violators uh, being in the left lane. So there's a, just, there's a, a law on the books and there's there a is. fine established? Yes, there is. So um, driving in the left lane is generally prohibited. Um, there are some exceptions, excuse me, exceptions, but you need to be traveling at least 40 miles an hour, which is crazy to be in the left lane at that speed, right? It's dangerous. <laughs> yeah, very dangerous. So, super, de- um, so, but what happens is most of the tickets that are uh, processed for the violations, they're later dismissed. Oh. So, there was 160 So, what's the point? Tickets. Exactly. That's what it, you know, when I got these facts, um, in 2018, a total of 3,900, let's say 4,000 tickets were processed and over 2,300 were dismissed. So what's the point? What (laughs) is the point? Right. You know, Hmm. so, um, and, and actually, you know, maybe because I'm a little older and driving a long time, but when I learned how to drive, it was always, you drove in the middle lane, the slower you know, slow pokey people were in the right side. And when you wanted to move ahead, you went in the left lane. Just to move ahead. You don't sit there. Right. And right. pace the other cars. Right. Yeah, it was a passing Exactly. Way. No, but I, exactly. I spoke to then Governor Malloy about this. And mm-hmm. uh, it's been a problem for a long time. And if we want to clear up some of the congestion, this is one of the things we can do. One of the methods, yeah. This is you get those people out of the left lane. Traffic flows faster. Um, yeah, because you'll see a person pacing a car in uh-huh. the middle or right lane, and it, you see in front of them, there's nothing. Clear. Yet behind yeah. you, there's miles of cars yep. just traveling. A so it's too. a problem. Yeah. It's totally a problem because you'll be driving along and be like, why are we going so slow? And then all of a sudden, you're it's open because that one person probably finally moved. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so what, can, what can we do if it's already on the books and no one's taking it seriously? Is there any... So, Think, I mean, is there any way to fix it? There, there, there seems to be enforcement, obviously. But uh, we uh, yesterday in transportation, we looked at two bills, um, and you know, a lot of the priority this year of the uh, transportation committee is uh, highway safety, um, especially so in light way, of everything. That wrong way heard. drivers. Yeah, wrong way drivers, uh, pedestrian um, fatalities. Th- Pedestrian fatalities over the last year and a half is up 31%. What do you think that's, that's about? Folks well, can't afford to drive. <laughs> uh, uh, I think it's I think it's twofold, quite honestly. I think a little bit it is, it is uh, the responsibility of the person walking and to you know, pay attention. But That I was always my thing drivers. when I was a kid. Remember? Yeah. We were taught to cross the street. <laughs> right. Look both ways. <laughs> look left, look right, look left again. Right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now it's just look but, in um, your phone and hope everything... <laughs> I... I and you, always, tell you. you always cross the traffic lights. You cross the green, not in between. Not between cars, you want just a beer. Yep, remember that. Drive yeah. through New Haven and watch the Yaleys just walk right across the street. Oh, I know. Yep. I, <laughs> I grew up in New Haven. I know what it's like. Yeah. It's crazy. It's crazy. But So getting back to your left right, lane. No, but you're right. Those are more important than this left lane thing. So the wrong way it drivers, you know, the we, pedestrians we getting to, hit. You're yeah. right. It's Yeah, and that, we talked at length about that. So the... Uh, the bill that was raised yesterday that we had our first public hearing on um, was an act implementing recommendations of this Vision Zero Council, and it was re- created by the legislature in 2021. 
Um, so we had the commissioner of DOT, um, and they spoke with a number of agencies to put forward their proposal. But as with any proposal that comes to the legislature, a lot of yep. stuff gets slipped in it. And one of the things that got put into it, and, and don't get me wrong, it is very serious. Um, motor, uh, just in the last year, there are 61 motorcycle accidents, uh, fatalities, four bicycle fatalities. That's scary because I'm, I'm a bike rider, uh, 75 pedestrians. But um, they also slipped into it uh, a requirement, mandatory to wear helmets. Oh, so that kills it right there. <laughs> so that, th- this is um, what happens. You have something good, something important, and someone throws something in that you know it's yeah. going to kill it. Uh-huh. it. It's a monkey wrench. Listen, I don't ride a motorcycle. I think you're crazy not to wear one, but it, it's your choice. Exactly. It's your choice to wear it. It's wear funny wear. how angry people will get immediately if you say yeah. riders should wear helmets. Yeah, no. Your now, choice. If you're riding a bicycle, it's the law to you have to wear it a helmet, is right? I, I, it's I, funny. The cyclists so never said, that's no that? way, man. Right. Sports free. You don't see them showing up in the Capitol with their little pedal shoes and their tight pants. Because <laughs> <laughs> you can't walk in those pedal shoes. <laughs> yeah, you can't complain <laughs> in the speedo. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> no one's going to take you serious. Right. No one's going to be afraid. Right. Those pants are way too yeah. damn tight. <laughs> You know what I see? I saw a couple of cyclists. You know, I'm leaving here, and when you leave here, if you don't get right on the merit, it's a very thin, windy road that people travel fast on. Uh-huh. It's the worst road to jog or cycle on. Yep. Yet there they are. Yep. There yeah. they are, and there's not barely enough room for two cars. And now here you are. Right. It's yeah, in their blind corners. It's like Jesus, got- can you just? You're out here for your health, right? And you're putting yeah. us all at risk. Well, they got that helmet with a little little, little side view mirror on it. <laughs> yeah, they think they put a little blinker light on the back, and it's right. like I could drive anywhere. It's yeah. like, man, if someone comes screaming around the corner, yeah, if I can stop, or if they're down looking in their phone, right? You're dead, right? We can't take, the, we can't redo this one. I've jogged that road and been given the finger many times, and I agreed with them. They were right. <laughs> yeah, it shouldn't be out here. No, no, no. It was saying, like, right. hi, Pat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't because you were running on a dangerous road. It's because they knew who you were. Yes. <laughs> you made fun of me. <laughs> to be fair. <laughs> Kathy Kennedy's on. She's a state representative for Connecticut, 119th District. What uh, area is that? I have parts of Milford and parts of Orange. Oh, nice. very cool. Uh, the cool. northern side, you know. Actually, part, the parts of Orange are where I, I end up growing up, so it's kind of cool. Nice. Representing nice. the people. <laughs> yeah, so motorcycle home is never going to get through. Um, well, you know, the bill has just so many other good things in it, but the three things that were pulled out yesterday were there's an open container um, section in there, and there's an imminent domain section where they can take... The, the open container or, or now is, as the law stands... Is your passenger can have a beer, Correct. right? The driver yeah. cannot have an open no. container. Yeah. He's gonna sip, <laughs> but it gets very interesting. <laughs> well, there you go. So we've talked to state police. If there's an open beer, they look at the driver very. You get a good look, right? Let me smell your breath. Yeah, exactly <laughs> yeah. right. Why are you chewing gum? Right. So there's that in there, and then what did you say next? Eminent domain. Uh, Eminent domain. What does that mean? Domain. Take so things. that's to take land for bike paths. Oh, no so way. If they want to create a no. bike path that happens. Uh, you no. Know, we, we talked a lot about it, but I'm not sure how many areas, but I don't know the whole state. No. I get that well, but can you imagine? No. So No. But there is some provisions no. in there. And then no, the, the government's not taking land. No. <laughs> you know, that's going to be a problem. Here, Here's the government thing. Government overreach. Yeah, it's overreach. Vermont has it right with the snowmobile paths. All of those landowners volunteer. Yeah. It's a mm-hmm. volunteer. Like, you can do it. Go ahead. And then if they get pissed because people aren't respecting it, yep. they say, I'm out. That's it, yeah. And then it becomes the the state's problem to find another way to finish this trail. To put a bridge over your house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one. So that's a in ramp. that same bill for one-way, yeah. uh, wrong-way drivers. Yeah. and Yeah, see, well, this is so what kills this, it. This, yep. this bill isn't the wrong-way driver bill. So okay. We have a number of wrong-way driver bills that were submitted by the uh, various legislators. And so what the, what will happen is that will become a committee bill from transportation. So we'll compile all of what was in just one bill will come out of it. Yeah. God we bless you. This is why normal that. people don't want to become <laughs> legislators. <laughs> yep. It becomes really. Normal. Yeah, because you got to look at all this stuff. You have no, to pay you're attention normal. To. Don't worry. You're normal. <laughs> no, you're normal. We're yeah. the ones that aren't normal. Right. We <laughs> no, don't want to do any work. Well, you knew that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it, it, 
it's really interesting. You, you you watch so much when you're driving. You guys, you, you're, if you're traveling the um, um, the highways, 91, 95, 84, Route 8. There was a fatality yesterday morning on Route 8. You know, a lot of it is what I feel like it is. People are just driving too fast. Way too, too fast. fast. Yeah. Yeah, when, you, when you're doing says the guy who did like 150 miles an hour on Route 8, 156. Yeah. That was only one time. Yeah. It was okay. no cars in the road. Usually right. it's 145. Only one time did he go one. I was, I was <laughs> testing it out. Yeah. Yeah, that's insane. That's insane. Yeah. You don't have control over that vehicle. You're, you're not, uh, I'm dating myself, but you're not my Mario wife, my, <laughs> my, my white knuckles said otherwise. <laughs> 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 but the other scary right. thing is the person that's driving slow in the fast lane is usually mm-hmm. someone who's a scared driver. And that's the kind of person that yeah. if a cop does pull them over, they stupidly pull over to the left side <laughs> instead of the right. Yep. It yeah, causes more problems. I'm sure a lot of the police almost don't want to do that because they're going to cause more problems by doing that. This person looks stupid and nervous. <laughs> you know what, guy? Thing- I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I was just going to say, the thing of it is, is, they think that they're fine because they're going exactly 65. Yeah, yeah, no. And, and 65 is really 75, I hate to say it, but it is. That's a suggestion, really. Yeah. Yeah. Suggestion. Yeah. That's parade speed for me. But when you're in that left <laughs> lane, your only purpose is to get past the slow-moving traffic and then get out of the way. That's how, like, people frog. get in that lane because they don't want to be near other cars. They don't live there. Like, that's not yeah. where, that's not a safe <laughs> lane. It's yeah. a path. Passing lane. It's, right. I don't want to say aggressive, but it's this is where you hit it. Exactly. <laughs> it's the same yeah. moron who sits in a truck's blind spot. So like, oh, I'm safe right next to them. Here. Right. No one can see me. You know what may, uh, is interesting, <laughs> though, is you make a good point, is that people get tickets for this stuff, but then it just gets thrown out. And this is kind of like, I guess if you're a cop, like, are you going to pull people over for speeding right. if they're not going insanely, you know, fast? And are you going to pull people over for this when you get a car thief and you put, you arrest them yeah. and then they're out the next day? Seriously. Not even. They're yeah. out in an hour. Yeah, yeah they have lunch and they leave. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and and it, yeah, it is unfortunate. I actually saw two people pulled over yesterday, which was surprising. Don't always, you know. You know the, End of the month. You're, is that what it is? I, I, that's that's a, I think a wives tale. My dad gets your said numbers. That. I've heard oh, about yeah, it. My dad always said, end of the month, be careful driving. Maybe. Here we go. The tickets. All right. I always yeah, think if it's the, raining out, they're not going to pull you over. I they always don't think. <laughs> they I just think they, they don't want to stand out in the rain. <laughs> yeah. But a nice day, a nice perfect spring day, be careful. Yeah. Exactly right. Exactly. But they risk their lives yeah. for way worse. They'll definitely get wet. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So anything else, Kath, before we wrap up? I call so, you Kath, you're a state representative. I know. So I don't All mean right. to be so, okay. I like totally world fine. friends. You, All know, right. you know, I'm not a title person. You know, it's kind of yeah. weird when people call me representative. It's like, who are you talking to? I'm Kathy, remember? <laughs> so, but yeah, it was interesting delving into these, uh, some of the things that are out there for the left lane driving. Um, it's, it, it's, you know, there is, like I said, there's a law that requires vehicles proceeding in less, less than the normal speed to move over. <laughs> They're not moving over. We all know that. And buses and trailer vehicles and trucks are prohibited on a divided, you know, limited access partway. So it's kind of weird when you see, because I see a lot of time tractor trailers in the left lane. Yeah. That freaks me out. I got to say that, that, you know, I'm not, <laughs> but you know, you, you learn to deal with them over there, but they got to get some more too, I guess. Yeah. Before we let you go, got a couple of things here. I want you to just sure. address with a quick yes, no, uh, Connecticut dog, official Connecticut dog being a husky. Yes or no? Um, yeah, yeah. Yes, I guess. <laughs> I, 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 I love that. It's <laughs> like, yeah, nah, seems stupid, but yes, because right. I don't want to take any heat. Right. Listen to your heart. <laughs> what about the bulldog? What are you going to do with the bulldog? Right. <laughs> the golden right. doodle. Yeah. The right. ladder doodle. Nah, it's making a mutt. <laughs> uh, official Connecticut food. Pizza. Uh, that's a Please sure. Say. I guess you because like it, you could have the burger. It's really funny. Works. These are more controversial than <laughs> other. Like I think right now yeah, it's a snickerdoodle. Crazy? <laughs> it's just, you're right. I mean, the hell it is. Dogs yeah. outside dining. So that's interesting. That's only for outside dining, and they have to be um, harnessed. And they have to be well behaved. Now, what 
<laughs> what decides a well-behaved dog? And you see another dog there, you're going to be sniffing them. <laughs> yeah, right. you know what I like about it. The, the, the what, what I read of it is that it's up to the restaurant owner. Restaurant. Oh, okay, so you want to be that person, yeah. you right. can be that person, right. but you're not forced by the state to do something. You're not willing to yeah. harness the wild kids running around. <laughs> <laughs> they have to be well behaved. You know what? That would get more support yes, than the dog would. one. <laughs> I'm in. Anybody who's eating in a restaurant, there's a kid freaking out running around. <laughs> harness that kid. All right, Kath, we're going to have you back on. We're going to pitch that one to you. Yes. Thanks so much. Yeah, there's like several restaurants already that do it, just so you know. And if you want to get do- ice cream for your dog, because I'm an animal lover, oh. you got to go out to Hamden. They, they have a dog flavor. They meant the kid. Where it tastes like dog? <laughs> a dog flavor? <laughs> yeah, dog flavor. It's, yeah, so it's for dog. What, 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 flavor what, what, for dogs. What's the name of the place? <laughs> Wentworth. Let oh, me guess. Awesome. Yeah. Let, me, let me guess. It's yeah. peanut butter. Yeah, no, it's I'm tiny flavor. <laughs> <laughs> dogs Jeez. can't get enough that, of that. That would be good. Great. Don't for the dog. All right, Kathy. Thank you very much. Talk to you soon. Thank you so much. Have a great day. All right, you too. Kathy Kennedy, state representative for Connecticut, 119th District. Jazz and AJ. 